This is my review of the Holy Bible. So we start with these two characters, Adam and Eve in paradise. They fall in love, skip hand in hand through the garden, they talk to snakes. So far, so routine. But then the clever twist kicks in. So it turns out they're just puppets in this terrible power struggle between God, AKA Yahweh, Jehovah, etc., and terrible Mr. Satan. And he used to be a former associate of God. So we follow this dynasty through generations. Whole nations are uprooted. They're forced to face plagues and battles of quite literally biblical proportions. But each chapter is incomprehensible in detail. Like Chronicles, anyone? But I will say as a whole, the story does rip along and it's not without humor in some parts. Like this one scene, we see this hilarious Onan and he's hapless and he embarrasses himself so much, he's got dire consequences. But halfway through the book, we meet God's son and he's this gentle peace Nick who seems totally unsuited for this task of continuing his father's battles. But then he's got this big transformation similar to that of like Michael Corleone in Godfather Part Two, where he sets aside his reservations in this big desert scene and then he emerges as this worthy successor. So game on. But this is where the book starts to waver because all of the chapters are written by different authors. And they're all followers of JC, which is fine, but they all say the same thing. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, one word guys, plagiarism. So I'm not gonna give away the ending, but let's just say, expect fireworks. All in all, cracking read. Far-fetched? Truth, as they say, can be stranger than fiction.